Today I am doing some filler for our patient's upper lip lines and I'm going to do it in a somewhat unique way because we're going to use a micro cannula and what that means is that it's a blunt tip. There's less of a chance for any bruising because as I glide through her skin, if I run into an artery or a vein, it's going to push the artery or vein aside and it's not going to go through those. So it makes it better and easier for patients, A, not to bruise, it's typically more comfortable, um, and again, a safer procedure. So I have already done a little bit of lidocaine over here. And I'll just make my little pilot. Can you feel here? Mm -hmm. Is it bulky? Okay, good. Because it's a cannula, I can't get through the skin without having a little pilot channel. So that's what that is about. And then this is the cannula. You don't look, but mm -mm. it looks like a it looks like a needle, but there's no tip to that. It's just a blunt tip. So there's not a pokey tip at it. Or sharp tip, I should probably say. It sounds a little bit more official. Okay, so we're gonna go in through our channel. Our little channel that we made, and I'm gonna go right across. Happy thoughts. Oh weird, weird, weird. There we go. And I like doing upper lip lines like this because just lays nicer when you cross them as opposed to going up into each individual one which may give you a ducky look which nobody likes I always say we're not gonna duck you up <laughs> <laughs> I know it's so funny aren't it? Mm -hmm. yeah it's a gift <laughs> uh, nice let's see I only use point one to here to stay because I'm going back. Okay, you doing okay? Mm -hmm. There is some lidocaine in this, so if your teeth start to become numb, that's totally fine. And I also wouldn't go like try to drink something right after we're done because you'll be a little lidocaned and you might dribble. Mm -hmm. And give it about an hour. It's nicer. It might be a little bit easier on people too. Was that pretty easy? Mm-hmm. Okay. Were you saying that? No. I okay. <laughs> I, yeah, I don't feel anything. Oh, perfect. Okay, so we're gonna go into the same channel. Let's go. We'll do a little bit in the down, on the lower lip. This filler is made of hyaluronic acid, so if you hate them, we can reverse it. But usually people don't hate them. At least not ones that we deal. <laughs> so there's an enzyme in your system that breaks down your natural hyaluronic acid. And that is why filler breaks down, because it also is hyaluronic acid. So your body breaks down the fillers that we put in, which is really mean, but I guess it keeps me in business, right? Mm -hmm. <laughs> going down, going lower now. We got this. There you go. You're okay? Mm-hmm. Awesome. Perfect. You're doing so good. And because this is a blunt tip, and as I glide through your, I like how I use the word glide, I'm irritating a bunch of the cells that make collagen. So just by using the cannula, I'm making you make collagen right where you want it. So, turn a little towards me. Super cute. So that is a typical lip filler procedure using a cannula. So if you want to find out if lip filler or any of the over 55 procedures that we do are right for you, you can find us online at rejuvenationmdmedspa.com.